Hey guys, are you there with me? Bear with me just a second. Still trying to grab a couple cameras here and get a couple other things humming for you guys. Hey guys, are you there with me? Hey, welcome. We're here today um, on St. Simons and uh, we're at fire station, fire station number two. And we've got uh, engine 32 here. And tonight is decorating night. So we'll be putting the lights, we're gonna strap the chair on it and get everything. And what you got right here is, chief. this is Chad. Chad, this, this, is, this is our volunteer fire chief right now. Chad Everett, and he is in the process. We're going to take a camera over there and show you. He's got half the truck pulled apart over here as he's working on uh, some, some electrical gremlins and some things going on with some inverters. So um, we're going to walk over there and take a look at that thing and take a look at the truck. We're still waiting on some more of the guys to show up in here. But come on, let's go over here and see what Chad's been up to. I've seen Chad like go outside and bring like, he's bringing handfuls of tools out here. So we got, this This is the battery compartment on the truck. This truck I think, this truck was originally a six volt truck, isn't that right? Yeah, six volt on so, the main, but this just, just runs all the like all the, all the gizmo stuff. And you see he's, he's got a battery charger thrown on that. And then over here, if I can get, if you, I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's got an inverter hanging out of there, which gives us the capability of, of powering up some stuff without a generator. Now I do have a generator here. It's in the back of the truck. We got that for kind of a backup. It's a lot, it's a lot neater when we can run it off the inverter and not have to worry about powering our lights and stuff off the generator. Kind of show you guys around. This is uh, this is old technology. This is a 1952 Chevrolet Persh conversion fire truck and she is an open top truck there's there's no top on it pretty simple and uh, if you look at the dash kind of layout in there and, and you you're familiar with uh, with old Chevrolet and GMC trucks some of this will probably look familiar to you it is a two-speed axle truck that this controller right here is a uh, uh, two-speed uh, controller for the rear end and you guys see that round pedal pedal round button just to the right of the accelerator there that's a starter button four-speed transmission um, again old old technology and this is one of the original trucks that the county, the county bought two of these when they actually got into the firefighting business and um, this truck has a 235 six cylinder engine in it, which means it doesn't have a lot of power, but my goodness, this thing's reliable. And this is original, original engine in this truck. Old, old bath uh, air cleaner. give you guys just a, a little taste on it now this truck when I was a kid this this truck was actually I remember this truck that served as a as kind of a backup truck when I was a child I remember seeing this truck responding to uh, fire calls and it went out of service and it's it's been uh, it's been retained and we use it for ceremonial things the Christmas parade Fourth uh, of July uh, opening day for the ball ball teams with the county. Um, that's what we use it for. We try to try to keep it keep it in operational condition for for those events. Now we did grab uh, some new tinsel and some new bows. We've got we. We've got a, a box of stuff. Let's see, there's a... A 
a reef. And we got we do have we do have some supplies, but what we uh, they're getting kind of dated, so we decided to spruce it up a little bit. Got some new lights and uh, some new materials there. So yeah. I don't know if I've even got got you guys. Are we on the right camera here? You know what? You guys didn't get any of that, did you? I'm going through the engine. I'm going to have to show you guys again. Hopefully I got it back. I got a little bit of latency here on the broadcast. Apologize, but I'm going to show you guys the engine. And that is a 235 six cylinder. If I had Derek here, Derek would be handling all this stuff. But yeah, this is the uh, the the cab here, and it is an open cab. And the dash, some of this stuff may look familiar to you guys if you're familiar with it. Uh, the old Chevrolet and GMCs. I'm going to try to show you guys that starter button. That's the starter button right there. That's what you use to start the engine on this little truck. And it has that red round piece that's a two-speed axle controller. Four-speed transmission. Just simple, simple technology. I want to show you this nameplate here. And this again, 1952 Chevrolet, and this was a, a Persh conversion. How's everybody doing tonight? Golly, it's I haven't done a live in so long, and I guess it shows. It's been a while. It has been a while, guys. Hey, look. That looks nice. Chad, I do have some more lights over here in this box. Show you, show you what I got for all your fire truck needs. And then some tinsel, and I got, I got some bows in here. Hopefully they'll sparkle when the light hits them. I believe they will. So we're going to we begin the process of trying to get everything put together on the truck. Chad, you know what still works on this truck? What's that? This radio. It's it better. I love this radio. It's better. <laughs> let's, let's fire this thing off right here. Because I did. I went and got a flash drive, and I've got us some music some music on it that we're not going to get in trouble on any copyright issues. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, yeah. Just wrap it around the ladder.
How do you not like that? I love them. They work in the rain. They work everywhere. Well, I can't, I can't confess, you know, the whole, the, the whole Santa gig is just surrounded in, in all kinds of secrecy. There's all kinds of, of checks and, and balances that they've got to be met. I can't confirm or deny any stories that uh, Santa looks a lot like me, but I've heard, I've heard that uh, he does. So I don't know, maybe, maybe you'll see a guy that looks a lot like me on Christmas Eve. And we got a lot going on. We got uh, Fishman Joe's coming up. Um, Derek is coming down and Alfred Montner is coming up with his family and they're going to come spend Christmas with me. They're coming up here and they're going to spend Christmas with me here on St. Simons and I'm really excited about it. Come be a part of the parade. We've got some things planned. A lot of you guys have have uh, sent in bears uh, either through Derek or Alfred or Joe or myself and when Derek gets here we will try to compile a list of everybody and let everybody know what just some, there's so many generous hearts out there that uh, people have have donated those bears for the season and it's such an awesome gesture but we're going to we're going to distribute those over at uh, the children's wing at the hospital and then uh, we've got a couple of if we have any left over which I'm to be honest with you I hope we have a lot left over I hate the, the, the prospect of of any child having to spend Christmas in a, in a uh, hospital. I hope we do have a lot left over, but uh, we're going to find, we got a, a needy calls right here at the fire station with the bears. They will use those bears on the ambulance uh, if they go to a, uh, a scene where there's a child and sometimes that bear just having the, something on there to give to the child, it really helps uh, calm them, calm a, a young patient and uh, for just for a second, kind of, kind of makes them feel a little better. And we want to donate some some of those bears to the fire department and to the police department if we have any left. I hope we have a lot left. Again, hate to hear if we got any kids in the hospital, but that's our first th first thing we're going to do. Um, let's check and see what's going on right here. <sighs> Golly, 24 of you are here with us, to, and that's really cool. Thanks for joining us. Michelle, Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Uh, if Teresa's on here, Michelle, uh, I don't know what you guys have got planned for, for Christmas, but I hope you, you're you able to, to find some time to help us with some, some moderation when we're live. It's going to get busy for us when we, when we do the parade. And I'm hoping we got some people on there kind of monitor the chat for us and, and kind of keep some things moving along. Santa's going to be busy. The elves are going to be busy. Um, but you guys are going to have fun. And I am excited for the opportunity to bring you guys along and show you guys Christmas on St. Simons. It's a special time. Oh boy, that's starting to look good. That is starting to look really good. Nice. Love it when it all comes together.
Oh, Mark, you're going, you're an early Christmas guy. That's an, that, gives, that gives you more time to be with us on Sunday night. Now, the parade itself will probably start about 10, 10 till 5 on Christmas Eve. And that's going to be, that'll be Sunday afternoon. And it will, the entourage will leave the fire station and go down uh, to the St. Simon's Pier area. We'll set up in front of the casino. And it's a, it's, the parade is such a neat, it's, a, it's, it's such a neat community event. You got the fire department involved in it. Uh, there's a, a local women's club, the St. Simon Sevenettes, and they're going to stuff 500 stockings. Uh, those stockings will have uh, some fruit in it, animal crackers, a bag of Cracker Jacks, uh, some candy, a candy cane. Um, and every kid up through uh, elementary school that comes to visit Santa and get those last minute requests in with Santa is going to, they're going to get a stocking. It's, it's really neat. It's a tradition that's been going on here on St. Simons for, I don't know, maybe 70 years, maybe more. I'm not sure on the, when it exactly started. Uh, I've been very fortunate to be a part of it uh, through uh, my tenure as, uh, as a volunteer firefighter on St. Simons uh, with Clinton County. Um, I used to drive the truck uh, for Santa um, before I started to look like Santa. So I've been, been involved with it. My mother was in the, in the, in the club. Um, my daughter's in the club. Um, a lot of family, a lot of family are in the club. Uh, and they they help out. Now, hopefully, we're going to bring some of that to you guys too. Uh, the stuffing of the stockings. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get all that. We got a lot of stuff planned uh, over this this Christmas holiday, and uh, hopefully, you guys are going to be here with us to watch some of it. I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Just to be able to share it with you guys, I think it's going to be pretty special. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. She was Santa. Mark, that's a great question. Santa has looked uh, a lot like me for 20, wow. Twenty-six years, I think. Twenty-six years, I think. The neat thing about this is um, I have seen children that came up and sat in Santa's lap, young youngsters, little gleam in their eyes, their, their request, and just to let Santa know that they were expecting him. And uh, today I see those same kids with kids of their own coming up to see Santa and putting them on Santa's lap. Um, it's, it's pretty neat. It's, it's, it's really, really special. It is to me. And um, you guys are going to get to see. It's different. I've never, people have talked about Christmas parades, but the Christmas parade on St. Simon's is like nothing else you've ever experienced. And I promise you guys that. I know one thing I've got to do over here is we got to work on on the chair. So bear with me just a second. some wipes in here. Let me grab these.
So, you know, we got Derek, Derek with the food boat. We got Fishman Joe and we got Alfred. And my intention is to, provided everything works like it's supposed to, is have our, um, the parade actually on Alfred's channel, live stream there. We're gonna set the equipment up for his channel. But anything that we've got that's food related, we're gonna put that on, on Derek's channel, on the food boat. And we've got some, some ideas there. That we're gonna bring you guys along for. We've got a, a shrimping trip that's t that's tentatively lined up on a big boat that I'm hoping that we can put on Fishman's channel because he's been on me like crazy about wanting to go out on a big boat. I think we got it set up, weather permitting now. We're not going to ask these guys to do anything that's going to cause any problems or issues or damage any of their any of their equipment. But hopefully, we'll be able to get out on the boat. We're going to do that and put that on on, on fishing. We're going to try to spread the love around where you guys can find us, and it's going to be over over all four channels during Christmas. So excited, really. Now Santa cannot have a dirty chair. She gets a little dusty. A lot of stuff down in here. All right. Quick exit. Blame it on the armor all. <laughs> do, do not armor all the controlling surfaces. Nobody's going to believe it. Does that look any better? Of course it does.
Oh, 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 oh. I love it. What you guys think? <coughs> oh. <coughs> now, the chair sits up top, right on the very top. Um, if you've seen any of the videos of um, the Christmas parades in the past or watch the trailer, maybe you saw how high that thing is. You're really up there. High, very high. I like it. Let's see. Let's see if part of this works. Is that thing spinning? <laughs> Light in the front working? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We're tip top shape, baby. <laughs> Chad's the man. Yeah, that, that thing will be that thing will be hot. It'll be hot at the end of the night. I say, Mike. All right. That was a long day at work. My hands cold. Good to see you, Andy, man. Good to How see you. How are you? I'm doing good, bro. What are you wearing tonight? Huh? That's a coat I brought the other day. Bought the other day. Nice wool coat. Yeah. Yes, they want. Everybody. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Chair time. Turn it off. All right. This chair is off. Our light is off. You going up? You got it, Mike? Yeah, I got it. All right. Go 
Close it. Walk up a little bit more with it. We need to. He will after a minute. Yeah, 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 a minute. We gotta pull it back to you, Mike. Pull it back to me. Yeah. That that piece of wood goes right. There we go. Now, in that uh, in that fill hatch, don't let it get your fingers caught. And there's a little piece of wood that's about an an inch square and about not quite. It's gonna be smaller, about an inch square looking thing. No. Keep digging. Little guy. Is it not in there? It was in there the other day. That's it. Yep, that's it. All right. That, uh, that piece of wood gets driven on top of that two by four, yeah, under that lip of the metal. You see how, how it's... Let me see if I can find a, uh, a hammer. they used to. Man, didn't the toolbox used to be in a plastic compartment? That's the jaws. It's got to be around here somewhere. That's cribbing. Will this help? Huh? I was getting in there. Uh, you may have to take uh, a piece of that uh, two by four and put it up against it, and like then drive it in with this thing. Right. You see what I'm talking about? Like turn it, turn it long ways where you can hit it. There you go. Oh, okay. uh, I'm to your video right now. It's got a little bit of static. A little bit of static? Yeah. It's probably me. Oh, you got a hammer. Probably. I don't know what I'm digging a hammer for. I hate to be neglecting you guys in the chat. I promise we'll sit down and talk in a minute. But Santa's, Santa's security on this thing is critical. And I really mean critical. Oyster. I'm just grabbing my phone and kind of look around. Oyster, Wyoming. Hey, Teresa, Michelle. It's great. All right, that's what I wanted to hear. Huh? No, nah, this is what we want right here. They're already shortened up and ready. No, 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 no. Right there. 
You know how to run one of these things? I know you gotta rank it. Now, hold on a second, we gotta. It's okay, I know you're a little slow. Hey, I'm trying to learn at least. <laughs> you... I've been a part of this for years, dude. Ever since I can right. remember. <laughs> Matter of fact, to tell you the truth, my grandmother, this whole thing started when my grandmother was just a kid. Isn't that crazy? And before there was a practical parade, uh, my grandmother and all Work that one right there. And by the time they get done, all the kids get exported out. And they're standing in the middle of the old casino building. That's a movie. Oh, yeah. That's a great, that's, that's a great story. It went from there to uh, what the way it is now. I think the only time the volunteers, the fire department didn't participate was when they were in a snowstorm, right? Might have been. Might have been because they had, a, they had a big had had the big fire going on. Feel pretty good. All right, we like it. Th here you go. This one goes up there somewhere and go right back to. Critical step. Santa's, uh, Santa's ride hinges on, uh, on some ratchet straps. God, I hope you guys <laughs> tune in for the parade on Christmas Eve. You got it? Yeah, I got it There'll be a test after this now. <laughs> Watch this right here. We got a, something funky going on right here. What's that? Something funky going on right here. It's not in the. It's not in the. Uh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. You think it needs more lights, Teresa? You know, we have, or there, I know we got, we do have these lights over here. We do have more lights, guys. What's going on, Santa? This. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to introduce you guys into Santa. Santa in waiting. Come here. Come here, Gunther. This is YouTube live. How you doing? I'm all right, brother. It's good to see you. Good to see you. This is Santa in waiting right here. This is. Nice to meet you. 
Oh. I'm Jersey. We got to get some color in this, though. Hey, give me about three years. Have we had our open room yet? They brought it here without any trouble. I mean, I know Orby brought it over here. But she's still up in uh, Ohio. Mm. Those, those look good. Hey, you know, we may need to um, snug those lights down. Are they, is, are they tight? It's got a nut, I think a nut on the bottom of it. Just make sure those are snug down so they don't walk around on us. This... Hey, hey, go back to the camera and kind of tilt it up a little bit for me. I'm going to use you as a, as a remote here a little bit. Do I look like I'm in the frame now? I've got, there's a little bit of a latency, a little bit of latency in it here. So yeah, we got, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. So we got LED lights on the truck and pointing right in Santa's eyes, which means Santa has limited visibility. His peripheral is really, it's hard to stare in lights and look out, I don't know, especially in a very dark atmosphere, um, which it'll be during the parade. It happens at nighttime. Hey Dave, thanks for being with us and kind of spending a little time and jumping in here with us. Um, go walk the dogs. They're probably waiting on you. Get that done. So, I look at the weather for here on Christmas Eve and there's like, there's like a 20% chance, it was 50 but a 20% chance of rain on Christmas Eve evening. That looks awesome. And um, I found a bimini top, a boat bimini top. Over the years, Santa has made the trip just like this in the open, whether it was rain, snow, sleet. Santa's been through it all. Um, we're going to get a bimini top and uh, tentatively fit it to the truck for for the ride. And it's a eight foot eight foot long, which should it's going to take it back over the truck a good bit. They will come uh, come right in here with it somewhere, and then the rest of it will go go to the back. And uh, it's it's 54 inches tall. I need a tape measure. Did uh, does Chad Chad got a tape measure down there by any chance? I'm sure he's got one somewhere. He's probably got probably got one in his in his back pocket. He's got everything. Well, I want to. I actually want to check the height sitting right here. Everybody's saying in the chat here, we need more light. We need more lights on the truck. Need more lights. Need more lights. They need. <laughs> yeah, the, the, um, the top is, Brian, the top is 54 inches tall. And I got to come off um, the top of the hose bed right here. Hey, you got a, you got a tape measure? Yardstick, tape measure, anything? Let me borrow it, please.
the Chad leave? Is he here? He can't. Oh, he he hasn't left his bag. He's here somewhere. Twenty six of you guys have taken the time out to join us for decorating engine thirty two for the Christmas parade. Thank you guys for being here. I hope I hope you guys come back to the channel over over Christmas, and we're going to try to get a schedule together. Um, so you guys have an idea of what's going on. If you don't have your notifications turned on, please do. Go to the notification tab and turn them on. Turn them on on your device so that uh, if something pops up and we get it out, you guys get notified that we're going live with something. Uh, I don't want you guys to miss any of what we got coming up. Thank you, sir. Fifty four inches. Ah. It's going to be right at my head. It's going to be literally right, right at my head. Now, if we block it up, maybe put a four by four there and kind of block it up a little bit. It might be a little better. What do you guys, you guys think this? This is 54 inches right to the bottom of the tape measure. And we're coming off the top of the hose bed. She was, that's gonna be so close. It's gonna be fine if you're in the back, back of the hose bed, but here on top, it's gonna to be like right, right here, right here. I'm gonna to need to put a four by four block. I'm gonna to need to maybe some clamps, maybe some, uh, we'll get some wood clamps, put a four by four. A four by four there, that'll give us uh, a 58. Well, about 50, probably 57 inch clearance. Let's see what that's going to, that'll kind of look. I hope you guys can probably see this better than I can from your angle. What's that put it, am I, am I hitting it somewhere close, like right in here? If we, if we kind of look across from the bottom of the tape measure, I think that'll work. You can't, you can't get it too high because of all the low trees, all the live oak trees that really add to the beauty of this entire place. You know, some of those, some of those limbs get low. And like, just sitting in the truck right here, I am over the top of uh, engine two right next to me. Um, I mean, I can, I'm actually like looking down into the hose bed a little bit. So I'm probably, probably this high, if you will, over the top of the new fire engine, the big fire engine that's next to us, which I'll show you that one in a second. Brian, when you say they have a, they have an awning a bit on on the side. What are you talking about? What, do you, what do you, is, is it 54 inches to the side of it, or is it 54 inches high to the bottom of the bimini? So I want to have I want to have about four or five inches above my head. That's that's what that's probably that's going to give me the most protection from the rain, being that close to the top of it, and uh, will will give us the you know the maximum amount of clearance. Chad, if we put a, if we put a bimini on this thing, I'm probably gonna have to have a four by four block and I'll probably set it up with uh, some wood clamps. Just clamp it down to that rail so you can easily take it off. But I wanna get it where it's, you're, you know, you're not hitting it, but you can't get it up too high because tree limbs will tear it off. It's a fine line. Yeah, I should attract the trailer. Mark, let me t let me tell you, um, the trees, the trees here, you know, I I do a lot of work on the trees here. The trees here are, are sacred. Live oak trees here, they really make the place. And there's so many of them that are just scarred up from their interaction with 
with tall vehicles, trucks, uh, uh, semi trucks, uh, trash trucks. Um, yeah, they they take a beating sometimes. Yeah, but all right, Tiger. The question is, when they say it's 54 inches high, is that to the bottom of the skirt or is that to the bottom of the actual bimini top? Because if it's to the bottom of the skirt, we're good. We're golden. I, I wouldn't even need a block. I guess the best thing to do is to probably get the thing, assemble it, dry fit it, and then we'll go from there. You dang right Spanish moss hangs down and Santa does not like eating it. All right, we're getting more lights on the truck. You can, let me get off here so we'll move the camera around and you guys can take a look at that. Well, everything we got is right here in the uh, in the boxes. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a 52 Chevrolet. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All right. That may have, uh, that may have gone off that bar at the back of the truck. Can you have, can you have too many lights? Guys, can we have too many lights on it? Ashley, you leaving us? You guys. Looking good, looking so good. I've got a tether on here, so I don't know how far out I can get this way, we'll see. Oh yeah, the modern engine. This is the latest, latest engine they have here in the station. And yeah, if you look, Santa's head is above. It's above the top of that truck. Sitting up there, it's above that. You know we're gonna to have to do a we're gonna to have to do a, a start and turn the lights out and look at it. Just to see what it looks like. Yeah, I'd like to start to come off of battery charger power just to see what's what. 
hopefully, you know, this, if this truck sets too terribly long, guys, it, uh, it doesn't want to start. The fuel pump leaks down or something, you got to prime it back up. Well, once you do that, you're good for another well, week I, or so. Um, according to Carlino, it, <laughs> there was, if there wasn't enough fuel. Oh, really? There, it would blow the pickup in the tank. So. That'll cause problems. Yeah. What I'm going to have to do here is. I'm gonna have to swap out a battery. So, Chad, hold, yeah, hold that, hold that over there somewhere. I'll let you let you run that camera for a little bit. I'm gonna have to shut this other one down here in just a second. All right, we're, let's see. Back on two. I got this one back on, and I don't know what's going, going on with that one right there. Let me borrow this one a second here. I don't know why it's not popped. There it goes. It's loose, loose there. Should do it. Yeah, I think you're still on that one there. For some reason, I've lost one of the cameras. We still got this one on right here, and we do have a fresh battery. I don't know what's going on with this one. Oh, that might be what's going on. Yeah. There it is. It's back with us now. Well, we do have that one on, and I guess we've been on here for about an hour now. Decorating engine 32. Guys, thanks again for being here with us. 
I don't even know how many. Hit that like if you guys are in here. Do us a favor, hit it. We'd appreciate it. What is uh all right, give me the give me the lowdown on the um is it, is everything running off the inverter now? So everything's off the inverter. Okay. What's that? All right, let's figure try to figure this out. We got something going on now. Did the inverter get hot? Um, I'm not sure what's going on. It, it, it timed out or something. Does it have a... Is that your is that your personal inverter yeah. right there? I'll have to get another one. Cause this, cause this one's actually designed to run like right now it's on 800 watts, so it, it's on the lead acid side of that. You can make people battery in there, which is tied to that. And then on the other end here, you can actually plug it in 100. Oh yeah. yeah. Look. Oh, this ain't working. It's dead. These aren't working. Well, that's fine. We got enough there. Yeah. I like that side. Hey, do me a favor and let's toss those if they're not working. Yep. Let's, let's don't put them back in the box. Perfect. Perfect. It's coming together. What do you think? I mean, yeah. What, what's your what's your opinion here on the truck? Does it look like Christmas? Oh yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, she looks good. She really does. You know the old truck. Um, well, you know, I think that's part of it. It kind of, uh, it's, it's evolution. It's, it it's it kind of, it's kind of, uh, it's happy, happy, uh, happy self. It's constantly changing. Just like, you know, everything else is going to, everything else is going to change. It looks pretty darn tasty. I hope I'm uh, bringing my grandfather over here. Are you bringing him? That'd be awesome. That's awesome. I look for I look forward to seeing him. That's that's, that's awesome. Picture. I'll need to, I think we took that picture of uh, from, we had our last picture with Grandma. I don't know. I don't know who's got it. I would like to have that one too. This is looking awesome. So guys, are you seeing this thing? Um, what do you guys think? What, what are we missing? What are we, what are we missing? We're getting so close here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard Derek has found some elf outfits for, for Alfred, for, for Joe, and for himself. So the elves are going to be on the truck, and they're going to be live streaming the event 
and you guys, you guys are going to be along with us. It's not going to be as cold, but the the possibility exists that it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be wet. Thing is, hopefully the hopefully the rain is it still showing? Uh, it's showing like twenty percent. Yeah, that's gone down because it was fifty yesterday. We're still a few days out, and uh, of course, weather is subject to change. I have, y'all. Plug out to Ryan Hall, y'all. Yeah, he does. He does a great job with his his weather show. He's 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 susceptible to go out and chase storms, you know. Yep. He'll do that from time to time. Uh, I'm sure he's prepping for a snowstorm in Kentucky sometime next year. <laughs> Oh. That looks nice. Hey, do you know how to start this fire engine? No. We're going to give you a quick lesson. I need a refresher. All right. Go ahead and get your seat there. First thing I want to show you here, this is master switch. It's got to be pushed down right here. It's in the down position. You want to make sure the truck's in neutral. You ever drove stick? One time. All right. And that was not a good time. All right. Well, just in starting, we want to make sure that it's in neutral. So. Wiggle the uh, the stick right there. Yeah. And freely wiggle it around. See how she's she's in neutral right here. All right. The next thing you do there, the ignition key is uh, right there. You want to turn that. Go ahead and turn that on over to the on position. Come on, come on, turn it towards me. All right, is that, I think that may be on. All right, uh, yep, I hear it. Yeah, turn signal's on, I hear it clicking. Go ahead and shut that turn signal off. All right, the next thing I want to show you is a starter button on it. That's that black round thing there next to the gas pedal. No, nope. that, that yep. right there. So push take your foot, in. take your foot over and, and push that in. Hold up. Use your other foot now and uh, get on that accelerator. No, so, like, no. Use your left foot, put it on the accelerator. There you go. Now you're doing something. Put it in there. Now you, gotta do a, yeah. now you gotta do a little dance with your feet right there and pump the accelerator. Back up. Keep, keep throttling it. Keep throttling it. Put it All right. Keep your. Keep. Yeah. You don't want to just hold the starter down once it starts. Okay. You release your foot off of it. Um, but keep it running with your with the gas until it warms up. We're close. We're getting there. There you go. Oh, you had it. Yeah. After it gets running. Stop, let it stop for 
Let it stop oh, yeah. and yep. then press it. Okay. Yep. Try, try it without even giving it any gas this time. Just hit that starter one time. Still gonna need to put add a little bit of throttle to it, I guess. There you go. Try that. Why is it, I wonder why it keeps dying out like that. That's odd. Pull that chuck again, Chad. All right, push, push the choke in a little bit. I think we got a choke. We're, there's a lot of black smoke coming out of it back there. Oh. Yeah. It lives! It lives. She's idling. That's I hear a low idle. You know, there was... That is as quiet as I've ever seen. This, that, uh, the hand throttle is no longer hooked up, but they used to be, you could, you know, reach over and kind of twist it a little bit. And I think it's been disconnected for a while. That's what you use when you're pumping the truck, right? To some, the the mechanism went 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 awry. Ah. There you go. Just like working, just like working right here. Oh. Oh hell. Oh no! You got to pull that out all the way. You didn't pull it out. Far. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Start. Yeah. Start again. <laughs> She's she's running. Running? Okay. Yeah. Give it just a little bit of gas. We are gonna try to turn that to idle up just a little bit. What is that? That one used to that one used to just run the siren, I think. It stopped. Start her back up. We're going to find an idle adjustment screw on it and turn it up just a little bit. There's one in here somewhere.
Is it down there at the bottom? Is that a jet? I think that's that's a jet screw, I think. Where did you turn up the idle on this thing? I don't even see a stop on it, Chad. She's still cold. Maybe once she gets warmed up, warmed up, she, she she'll pick up that idle a little bit. Cause I don't. The only adjustment screw I see is on the other side. I think that's a, I think that's an idle uh, a. Uh, like an idle air. Idle air or an air air jet. It is purring like a kitten, though. John, I think I think you're you're right. We need to be running non-ethanol in here. Of course, the county doesn't have non-ethanol pumps. The only thing they have is current ethanol-laced fuel. 
You're probably right. We probably do need to be putting our own own fuel in it. That'd probably help it out tremendously. Probably a little lead wouldn't hurt either. Just saying. This one right here. If you look down on there, you'll notice there's a little bit of lag on yeah, it. There's, yeah, there's some latency in it. Yeah. I was noting that, noticing that one in the, in the video too. When you actually had it on here. Yeah, there's there's a little bit, little bit of latency on it while it's, while it's kind of messing around. You've been doing this for how long now? The gold gray? What was that? Yeah. Three, four years ago? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yep. It happened in, uh, oh, it happened in, uh, it was uh, September the 9th of yeah, it was right, it was before, like, 2018, I think. Hers. All right, guys. The truck looks great. Yeah, set her down. Set, set down right there. We're fine. We're on the big camera right now, I think. So there she is. So like I said, we'll have, uh, we're going to have stuff across all the channels during the holidays um, it'll be be um, this channel the Menorcan mullet the food boat channel with Derek fishman Joe's channel and then of course uh, Alfred Montanaire's channel we're gonna have some stuff but hopefully the parade we're gonna put on Alfred's channel I want you guys I want to see the the best opportunity for people to see it is gonna be with Alfred's channel and uh, I think I think it's going to be a special night. I think people are going to enjoy it. I want you guys to be there. This is a special group, and uh, you guys are a part of it. And I love the interaction that that uh, you're able to, to give me, but then also the interaction that you guys have with each other. This is it's a great family, and uh, I'm I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy that you guys are here with us. What's that? Four. Four? Turn the light on. Yeah. Everything. I went to the 18 volt battery on the inverter, 122 watts. We're on the 18 volt battery, not on the truck battery. Really? That 300 watt set that I was talking about right there? Yeah. Hey, what? We got it going on now.
Can you guys hear this thing? Can you guys hear the engine running? It's, it's original motor. I like it. I like it a lot. How many more of these do we have? He's driving this year, I believe. Who? Orby, I believe. Was he driving? I mean, he drove it over here. I wouldn't be surprised if he was, if he did. I think he enjoyed driving this thing. You've met Orby, right? Yeah. yeah. He's trying to get me. Uh, he's trying to get me certified as soon as we get new gear. Oh, really? Good. Oh, yeah. Registered volunteers is what he's trying to get me at. Because I barely got any time to go up to uh, Forsyth and get anything done. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get up to the academy. You know, I did, when I went through fire training, I did everything. Everything was in-house. Really yeah, we did fire school. Uh, fire school was, was all in-house, and uh, even our burn our burn was done. You know. I've seen, I've seen uh, videos and pictures that Mom put up that Mom had. I think she's still got all the photos from when... Um, yeah, Southern Soul, yeah. This is the start. This is that part of it that we have to do to get ready for the parade. You guys were here with us when we did it. Um, I think we're good. I think Santa is very happy with the decorations. Uh, the island volunteers, the, the Glen County volunteers out here tonight, getting everything kind of put together. Awesome. Uh, it's a community thing. Um, again, I'm excited you guys are gonna be here and be part of it. Um, I think we'll end it here now. Thanks for joining us and being part of this. Um, Merry Christmas, guys. You guys be safe out there.